I am Osman Muhammad Osman from Eritrea, which is the country is located on Horn of Africa. It is border with uh, Ethiopia and Djibouti and Sudan and Yemen in the Red Sea. So my life it is it is very good, you know, like uh, my mom is a handicraft and a designer of clothes and they do the Chinese heart and like this. So we are in a good situation of life. The standard of life is good. But due to the government, you know, the situation became worse because my ma they put a lot of uh, taxes in my mother in the shop, so first, and then they took the license from her. From that, there is no income for her. So why I forced to drop the school from grade eight? I started work. There is a common accusation about the smuggling because in the border. At that time, they accused me as a smuggler. My mother would told me there is a civil, which is armed, they came and they're looking for you. I went to the to my friend's house and they stayed for two days with them. After that, it's, we decided to move, to leave the country. They said to me, there is me and my friend, uh, there is a mining places, so we try to work mining. But unfortunately, that is a big trick for us, you know. They tricked us. They stopped the car, the car and they started to point us with a gun. So that started the kidnapping from that place and they blindfolded. But at that time, I am very brave. After that, we traveled like seven days. I don't know exactly where the place, but it's, it is in Egypt. They started, you know, the punishment with electric city and uh, with different kind of punishment. Even still I have knee problem injured because they stuck me with the, with the bag of the clashing cough. They tried to ask me a ransom. First $4,000, then they become to, they will rise it to 10,000, then to 15,000. They say to me, if you don't want to pay that, this one, and your parent, you know, we're gonna take your kidney. So one day I got a chance to skip, but I scared that day. And then weak that time. No food for, for five days. Only one time I didn't took shower for, for five days and there's no anything, I'm weak. Finally, I will went to the old man in the grocery and I told him like this, is because I speak Arabic. It is, for me, that is not a problem. So I speak with them. Then after that, he, he took me to his house. He gave me one who guided me and he gave me 50 pound of Egyptians. So I went to the Cairo. He said to me, we have to register to you in organization they called Amira. So I went to Amira. They registered me and they assisted me only like, they gave me like apartment. I applied for the UN, for the Athelium card. At least I have an identity. Before I don't have any identity, no card that is show who am I. So if they catch me, they're gonna deport me to my country. So that is gonna be, gonna end my life because one, I left the country with illegally and also they have accusation about smuggler person. So, and also that time I am underage and now they're gonna talk me to the military service and in my country to the military service unlimited this is for your whole life the IM they call me and the UN they said you already resettled to the USA I'm very excited you know and yeah to come to United States of America this is gonna be a new opportunity and a new dream to me you know far at that time it's cold that is the winter time I went but it's, the winter is not surprise me and I like Fargo because it's like a small city and the, Quiet. I know a little bit English, but in English in Africa or in any country that don't speak English, they focus in grammar. So they you sound like a book man. Yeah, different, like weird. So the kid, the plan, the student playing with the basketball, I kicked it with my feet. So they said to me, "What you doing?" I don't know what you doing. Hey, wait! I said, 
My name is not Wacha, my name is Osma. I want to be first of all happy. Uh, and you know, like, I'm good in, you know, science and uh, I think, you know, I can't decide in one thing. Sometimes I will say, I want to be like microbiology and uh, study about the like, microorganisms and the parasites and stuff like this. Sometime also I will say, how about the petroleum? I will say sometime nursing and, you know, I can't, you know, decide for one thing. I don't have any choice, you know, like even I am homesick, you know. I want to be with my brother and I want to be with my family. No one likes to be a refugee. Refugee for me is like you walking in a sharp knife and you bleeding, you know. It's no dignity with to be a refugee, you know. Like it means refugee to be, it means to beg something and to, to, you are waiting. I don't want to be wait. You know, for someone, I have to be, uh, support myself. Only some people, maybe they, due to their accent or your color or stuff like, they trying to bully you and make fun on you, but I'm not care. I can't change the people, how you can treat you or what they say to you. All you can do, you can change how you react with that. Yeah.